Hey guys, it's a glossy gentleman again and welcome back to my channel. So thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to thank you for all the time that you have been spending in the channel. I really appreciate it and I wanted you to know that because it really means a lot to me. Today I'm going to be basically extending the functionality in one of the videos that I created for creating an iOS Unity Bridge. In the previous video, I show you how to store information to iCloud, also how to get information out of the iCloud, but the data type that I'm using is just a string. So what I'm going to be doing this time, I'm going to be adding a bool. I'm also going to be adding a float and also an integer and show you how we can extend the example for those data types. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. Other data types for the iCloud save functionality and low functionality. So in the previous video, I show you how to basically store strings and get strings out. So in this video, I'm going to show you probably two more data types. I'm going to show you how to do an integer and how to do a Boolean. If you want to do more, more data types, you're more than welcome to do so and extend it and even do a PR if you want to check it into the same source control. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up code and we're going to focus in the code for now. And then we'll go back through and then modify the canvas. So let's go ahead and go into our bindings. And I want to I want to add a few more things in here. So right now this is basically taking in a string and it's also taking in a value. But if you notice, it's always it's always a string value. So a couple of things that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename this so that we know what it is. So this one is gonna be get a string value. This one is going to be save a string value. That way we can denote what they're doing. And then also on this one, we're gonna say get stream value, save a stream value. And then I'll also make the, make the changes in the body. There we go. And that should take care of that piece. The other piece that I'm gonna have to fix is the bindings because I changed the methods. It's going to break. So I also need to do that here. And I also need to do that in here. And I think that's everything that I need to do. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I need to go into the plugin and then make few changes. Because right now this is only taking it's only taking a string, so I'm gonna rename these ones as well. This is gonna be get string value, and then I'm also gonna do the same thing here: save string value, get string value, and lastly save string value. And then we need to go to the top on my objective c code and this is going to be the same changes that i do all the way across all right so i think everything here looks good and the code should work as it is because all i did was just changing the method names what i want to do now is i want to go and i want to pull xcode and work in xcode because it's easier when it comes to types and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this and paste it and paste it in xcode so let me go ahead and open up the project that we built and wait until it loads loading unity iphone all right and then i'm just going to paste it here because i just made a few changes to the names and just make sure that we have those changes you can see that they are there so the implementation of these if we notice the get stream value right now this is honestly just pulling let's go ahead and, and do a check here so i'm going to do cloud store and then object for key so this is basically returning an ID and it, what's going to happen is going to try to cast it to the type that we're returning. So what I'm going to do is I don't know that this needs to change as much. In fact, this probably can, can be the same, almost the same. All I need to do is all I need to do is just do this and then this can just be an integer. We can just say get int value. We're going to be passing in the key and then let's just go ahead and hit enter here. And this is going to complain because the type that I'm returning is now an integer. Let me see if I can fix that. Let me try doing, let me just try casting this to just an int and see if it's going to work. If it doesn't work, we'll go back through and fix it. Okay, so it looks like it's not going to work if I do it, if I do it that way. I know by experience that you can do something like int value. There we go. We can just do, I think that's going to work. And if you call that method, it's basically going to get the in value of that. And let me see what else I'm missing in here. Because this is complaining. Duplicate method. Oh, okay, yeah, because I haven't renamed it. And it still doesn't know about it. If I do a new build, it should just work. 
duplicate declaration, iCloud gets stream value. And let me see. Oh, okay, I see what happened. Looks like I made a duplicate of it by mistake. Let me see if this works now. And it's building. Okay, so it looks like we're good. So we now have one one that stores that actually gets an integer value back. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna basically duplicate it, and this is gonna be save int value. And then we're gonna have a key, and then we're gonna have basically a value that we pass in. But this value it's going to be an integer. So I'm just gonna do an int, and then we're basically storing an int. And this doesn't like that as well, so let's see why. Okay, so it looks like the method I was calling was the run meta. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use long, set long long, and then I'm gonna be passing in that value, and then also doing the same thing here with the key that I did above it. All right, and that should give us basically or or integer value. And I don't think I'm gonna go that big with numbers, so I think this should just this should just be fine and I think everything else looks fine control reaches there we go so we have one for ints we have also one for strings so if we wanted to do the same thing with bulls we could do the same thing with bulls I'm just going to copy this and then this is gonna be get bull value bull value we'll pass in the key just like we did already and then this is going to say bull value and get bool value and then I'll do the same thing here save bool value this is gonna be a bool and then we're gonna call a different method which is gonna be the set bool I'm gonna pass in the value of the bool and then the key of the bool value which is gonna be you know whatever we want to store as a bool and I think I got everything there this is gonna have to change to be bool I also need to this is fine because this is gonna be returning whether we whether it was successful or not this is going to return an integer so i'm going to start adding a couple of comments in here this is going to be get this is going to be save let's see get or load integer values and then i'll do the same thing here just so that i can keep track of of everything and then lastly it's going to be strings and like i said if you want to add a few more you're more than welcome to do that but I think this will give you enough information to implement your other methods. And then I'm just going to duplicate this twice. This one is going to be integer value. This one is going to be integer value. You can say integer or if you want to do int, just like I did. I think I did that above it. We can just do, let's go ahead and do that. Just to keep it short. Int value. And then this one is going to be get bool value. And then lastly, save bool value okay so i think everything looks good so on the on this piece right here we're still going to be returning an int so i need to call the get int int value and i'm going to be passing in a key and the only difference here this is going to be returning a different type now this is going to be an int so that's the difference and then by receiver type int let me see if i can see and i don't need to convert anything here because this is now going to be returning an integer value so let me make sure that i clean this up okay so we're returning an int here then we're saving a value of int so this one is going to have to change as well because this is now going to be instead of being a value like this it's going to be an int uh, and then i'm going to have to pass that in to the save int value I still want the key but the value it's gonna be different this is just gonna be value okay so I think that one looks good so we're good with our ints now let's go ahead and work on bulls so bull it's going to be changing as well so this is just gonna be bull awesome and then we don't need to convert anything to to string and let me just remove a couple of these brackets and let's add that one Okay, and then this is gonna have to change to be bool. Perfect. And lastly, let's see, save bool value. I think that one works, except I need to change this to be a bool, and then a value, and then I need to also change this to be bool, so that it matches the signature from our method above it. And then the value is gonna be different, so now I just need to do 
I just need to do value and everything should be clean. All right, so I'm happy with that. And then I'm just gonna copy all that, go back into our iOS plugin in Unity, paste it. Okay, and we should have everything up to date. So I'm gonna copy, let's go ahead and copy these four methods. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is because we need to put them in here so that you can access them. And these are gonna be, I'm just gonna use them as a reference because we're gonna have to add, let's see, four. So one, two, three, four. And then this one is gonna be, you know, or, or gets and, or, and basically or saves. So the first one that I added was integer. So I'm just gonna say, I actually need to do, let's go ahead and copy this one right here. It's gonna be get save, get save, and then just copy, just copy these two. There we go. Okay, so it's gonna be get int value, and then this is gonna be save int value. This one is gonna be get bool value, and lastly, we're gonna have save bool value. And then on the get int value, we still need it by the key, so this is fine, except I need to change the type, which is now gonna return an int. On this one, on save int value, we're still gonna do a bool, but I need to pass in a different type, which is gonna be an integer. And then lastly, this one it's going to be returning a bool value, so I need to do bool. And then it's going to be taking in a bool value. And I think we're good there, we're good there, we're good. Okay, so we're good. So now I need to just remove our reference methods. And then lastly, what I need to do is just basically add those four methods. So let's go ahead and duplicate this one. And then we need to duplicate it twice. And this one is gonna be our int. We're gonna be calling our get int. And then this one it's going to be or save int. This is gonna be taking an int, which is gonna be that type, and then also calling or internal int, which is gonna call the C code. And then this one right here is gonna be a bool. And and I know that this is very repetitive, it's just you know, these methods are just so small that you know, all we need to do is just make some refactoring changes. Okay, so it's gonna be an int here. See, if I talk, I get, I get not concentrated. <laughs> okay, and I get distracted. That was the word I was looking for. Okay, so get bool value, and then this one is gonna be the save bool value. Perfect, and then we're gonna get a bool. This one we're gonna get a bool, and then we need to call our bool here and also taking a bool value. Okay, let me just double check that everything works. Saving a bool value, getting a bool value, they should both be bools. Saving an int value, saving an int value, taking an int, yep. Bool, and lastly, this is gonna get an int value, and we're calling our game int. Okay, so it looks like all of that is good. The last thing that I need to do is, just in case you use this for a multiple platform game or experience, we're gonna have to account for that, so I'm gonna add, a, add them all here except we're gonna be just adding our errors. And this one is going to be returning, let's just return zero. On this one here, we're going to be returning false, getting a bool value, returning false. We're basically just showing, telling the user or the coder that this is not supported in this platform. And this is gonna be false as well. Okay, save, get, save, get and everything, everything should work now. So then the last thing that I'll do is I'll just update the readme so that you know what you need to do if you need to get different types. So what I'll do here is I'll just, I'll just put it right here and I'll just duplicate it twice. So this is gonna be, this, this actually has to change. So I'm glad I, that I did this because this is not gonna be save stream value, get stream value. We can just say get stream value here and then here, and then these two here are going to be for the integer. So int, int, and then say bool, get bool. And of course, this is gonna be now a bool. And then save a bool value. And then lastly, get an int. And save an int is gonna be a bool. Because we're saving and, and determining if it was successful, getting an int. Okay, so we can just say get integer value here. Okay, and then lastly, this is gonna be save 
have bool. Let's just say save bool value and get bool value. I think that should be everything that we need to do. And then I'll just go ahead and check it in and then you can check it out. So I'll just do unity iOS bridge status press add. No, I'll just say add a new implementation. I'll just say add a new data types for saving and getting key values from my cloud. And I'll just push those changes and you can clone them, you know, as soon as you need them. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you on the iOS bridge, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. Thank you very much, guys.